All right, this will be just a little different today. I want to talk about uh, something that one of my friends, Rick Beato, uh, say friend, I think we would be friends. He's a musician and reviews music and artists. Uh, and if you haven't checked him out, you need to go ahead and do that. But he was talking uh, recently about uh, tinnitus or tinnitus, that ringing in your ears that uh, apparently about one sixth of the US population suffers from. And if you have this, I, I cannot say that what worked for me will work for you, but it's just one of these weird things that happened a couple years ago. I, uh, I had several things going on. I had tinnitus going on or tinnitus going on. Uh, I had a long-standing hiatal hernia that had been keeping me up at night and was just uh, really bothersome. I had put on a lot of extra weight and uh, was about 50 pounds over where I needed to be. And I had, some, I had some really tough things going on with some people who were being spiritually abusive and I wanted to enter into a time of prayer and reflection. And so I fasted. I fasted for uh, an extended period of time, just water, and uh, I would also allow myself coffee. And as I got later and later and later into the fast, um, I, I cut out uh, putting any kind of cream in the coffee after about a week. And uh, the, the further I got into it, man, water just became bland. And so I would add different uh, zero calorie flavorings to the water and uh, just stayed with that. And about, uh, it, with, with an extended fast, after about three days, I just stopped being hungry. And I've experienced that every time that I've done an extended fast, about three to four days, kind of stopped being hungry. Somewhere around five days, the body turns from uh, consuming calories from muscle to consuming those calories from the fat. And I started to experience some slimming and the, the, the sugar high from the calories being consumed from fat really puts the brain in overdrive, especially when no blood is being sent to the stomach to process food and it's, you have more and more going to the brain started to be able to get better rest uh, and actually sleep less. The, the hiatal hernia went away, and this was in 2000, this was in January of 2018. The hiatal hernia went away and has not come back. And the tinnitus, about probably two weeks, maybe, maybe as many as 21 days into this extended fast, the tinnitus went away. And I I don't recall the last time that I've had that persistent ringing in the ear. Now, sometimes I'll have, if you were a kid and you remember when someone would turn on the TV or something uh, at school and you'd hear that whee, that high pitch squeal, sometimes that'll happen and then it tails off and goes away. I've always tried to take good care of my ears because uh, being a musician and a songwriter, being a, a studio artist and as well as a, a stage performer and also doing a lot of studio session work and recording and uh, you know tracking, mixing, engineering. I love editing. If you've got something you want edited, man, I, I'm your guy. Um, but that ringing in the ears was starting to be a problem for me. And so I am not giving you medical advice. I'm not telling you to go out and, and undertake an extended fast without the advice of your doctor. Uh, but I will say that the hiatal hernia the tinnitus, uh, the weight, all of that coming off, I experienced a, about a good seven months or so before the auto accident that happened that year that, uh, that sidelined me so, so dramatically. I had, I had really, really good health. I was racing with our youngest kid. Uh, I was playing on the playgrounds and, and just having that, that kind of older dad of a younger child uh, fun with my kids um, and able to do that in part because of the weight loss, in part because of the better rest, because I wasn't so fidgety at night with the hiatal hernia, able to rest because I didn't have the constant ringing in my ears. Um, so I would suggest that uh, that is a good thing. Now spiritually, those conversations that needed to follow up that time of fasting set me on a different trajectory than I had been on and really focused my attention in a different direction. And that's part of what we're experiencing here today, even uh, four years later, is the development towards something new, something where hopefully I can bring value to you. I've got uh, a lot of learning and a lot of experience that I, I just I don't know what to do with.
And there's a pretty good chance that if you're dealing with, with things, especially in the realm of ideas or uh, relationship or general skills, that I've at least heard something I can pass along to you that might be of value. So if you've got any questions about any life thing going on, uh, I'm happy to, to at least pray about it and, and take a stab at a helpful answer. Leave that in the comments below. Uh, as always with my academic programs, uh, the best comment or uh, the, the, way that, the way that one teacher around here used to say it uh, in Searcy around the Harding community was uh, thoughts, questions, smart remarks. So any, any comments that you have along those lines, uh, the best one will get 100 Brazilian bonus points. And I'll be happy to, uh, to pass that along uh, personally if we ever meet. I hope that you're having a great day. I hope you have a great weekend and that the weather agrees with you, that your family is there for you, that you feel the presence of God speaking and blessing you and comforting you. We're all going through difficult stuff. We have highs and lows. And if there's anything I can do to be a friend to you, to be a neighbor to you, just let me know in the comments below. Please like and share. Talk to you later.